In this video, we will take a look at how to install Scrapey if you're using a Windows machine. We'll do that in three easy steps. That is, first of all, we'll create a virtual environment, which is recommended to do manually. And if you don't want to create a virtual environment manually, then we will use the PyCharm to create a virtual environment in the second step. And when we have the virtual environments ready, in the third step, we will go ahead and install Scrapey using the pip command in our virtual environment. To create a virtual environment, first of all, make sure you have a folder created that is empty, which will store the virtual environment along with the project file. Now to create a virtual environment, open up your terminal or the place where the folder is and I'll use VS Code, which is my code editor. If you want, just open up the folder with terminal. Now here you can see that in the explorer, we don't have any files inside of the folder, which is titled scraper. Instead of this, I want to create our virtual environment. So I'll open the integrated terminal inside of VS Code, that is this one. And as I mentioned before, you can follow up with a normal terminal as well. Now to create a virtual environment, we can use the Python's built-in Venv module. And to access that, first of all, use the Python command like this. And then to access a module, which is a module, we will use the hyphen M flag. That is, we want to access a module. That's why we use the hyphen M flag. Now the module name is Venv like this, that is the virtual environment. And as I mentioned, this is pre-installed with Python. After this, we will give it the folder destination where we want our virtual environment to be created. And because we want it to be created in the same folder that is we are currently in, that is x slash scraper, I'll just provide it the current path that is dot slash like this, that is the current directory and the name of the folder, which will be, let's say, when like this by convention it is when but if you want you can name it anything you want like even python chamber like this i'll just keep it when for now and then if i hit enter it will go ahead and create the virtual environment for us it will take a few seconds and after that you can see it is done so if i inspect our explorer you can see we have the when folder created that is our virtual environment so now that we have our virtual environment ready we can install our third party packages inside of it. And to activate the same, that is our virtual environment, what we have to do is use its activation code, which is inside of its script. That is inside of the when you will find a scripts folder. Inside of the scripts, you will find a activation file that is this. So we will just refer to this to activate our virtual environment inside of our terminal. So I will use the when inside of that we have scripts and inside of that we have a activate file like this if i hit enter you can see our virtual environment gets activated and the same is denoted by this when before our prompt so that's how we create a virtual environment manually with python's when module but if you don't want to create a virtual environment manually like this you can use pycharm instead that is, if you're using PyCharm as your code editor, it will create a virtual environment automatically for you. So let's see how can we create a virtual environment using PyCharm. So I'll open up PyCharm and here you can see that we have an option to create a new project. So just select that and then we get the window to customize our project. First of all, you can see we can name our project. So let's say I'll name it something like Scraper and then here we have the location as well that is i can change the location where our project will be stored i'll keep it the default location that is and then you can see we get the option to configure the virtual environment so here you can see we have a new environment using virtual environment or if you want you can create with pip and v or anaconda as well i'll use the virtual environment for this one and then you can change the location of the virtual environment not the project so if you want, you can change the virtual environments place as well. So let's say if I go ahead and change the name of the virtual environment to V and V like this, it will use this name to activate the virtual environment. And then you can also configure the Python version. That is the Python interpreter. If you have different ones like me, I have Python 3.9 and Python 3.10. You can see these are invalid. So I'll use the Python 3.1, which is the latest. 
and then just hit create. It will go ahead and create a project with the virtual environment. It will take some time to create the virtual environment. So let's wait for it. You can see that we get our project that is Scraper in which we have a main.py which is automatically generated by PyCharm with this sample code. And then if we want to look at our virtual environment, that is if I open up the terminal, you can see that it is activated. That is we get the when before our prompt. So that's how we can use PyCharm to create a project with a virtual environment automatically. Now that we have created the virtual environment, that is whether manually creating it or using PyCharm, you can go ahead and install Scrapy inside of that virtual environment. So I'll use the virtual environment I created with VS Code, but if you want, you can just use the PyCharm one as well. So I'll close this project for now and then open up VS Code, that is our virtual environment, which we created manually and here while being inside of the virtual environment that is the virtual environment is activated i will install scrapy using the pip command that is pip install scrapy like this hit enter and it will install there are a lot of things which will be installed along with scrapy it will take a bit of time so let's wait for it to finish installing You can see now all of the packages are installed with Scrapy. So if I just go ahead and just use the Scrapy command, you can see we get some options, which means Scrapy is installed. And if you want, you can check the version as well with the version argument. So you can use Scrapy version and you can see we get the version of Scrapy, which is 2.6.1. So that's how we install Scrapy on our system if we are on Windows. But if you're getting an error instead when installing the Scrapy with pip, then you will need C++ build tools along with Windows SDK in your system. To download the same, what you have to do is visit this website, which I will link in the resources. And from here, download the build tools. So just go ahead and download it and just run this executable provided the administrative permission and then using this we will install the build tools along with windows sdk so let it configure and then when it is configured you can see we have different options to install and from here make sure you check this that is c++ because we want to install c++ build tools and inside of that you will have installation details and inside of the installation details, make sure you check this MSVC. Let me zoom it. You can see we have MSVC and Windows SDK. That is Windows 10 SDK. Make sure both of these are checked under C++ build tools. So go ahead and install them. Now it will take a while for all of them to install. So leave your computer and just do something else meanwhile and when they are installed try installing scrapy again which will fix the issue so that's how we install scrapy in a windows machine